Earlier, New Central's Joe Hansen now spoke with a former senatorial candidate of, uh, and chairman of Agba, ABGA party in Anambra State, that's Ndubuisi Ene Achonia, on the chances of ABGA winning the forthcoming elections with Chukum Asolodo as the frontrunner. He had this to say. It's, it's clear. They, 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 are absolutely, they have spoken to so many Anambra people. People are excited about those candidates. People are happy with all those candidates. And I don't see any reason why ABGA won't win. You know? It, it, it doesn't mean that Soledo is going to do well, though. but at least you have a candidate who knows what to do. Now, he's doing that thing will now depend on the rest of the people in Anambra. Because sometimes power changes people. He may go in there and then, you know, they say in my state that the lion building that we have, once people enter there, they start behaving funny. So he may go in there. So it is now then that the APC and the opposition to stand up and be counted. And the other party should still remain, stand up and be counted, and ensure that they push Soledo to doing everything he has said they will do. All right, so that's uh, Chairman uh, Anambra, uh, Abga Party in Anambra State, in the WCNS speaking there. We'll be bringing you an exclusive interview of that uh, much later as the situation hits up uh, in Anambra State. Uh, more top stories coming right here on Breakfast Central. Many thanks for watching. Now, the Nigerian Senate has bowed from the pressure on electronic transmission of election results by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, where and when practicable, as it has rescinded its earlier decision. Wow. Now, the U turn by the Senate is coming after months of bashings from the public over resolution against the unfettered electronic transmission of election results by the Independent Electoral Committee, which is INEC.